Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. Today's video, I am doing my what I carried switch out type deal. This is my MCM medium Liz in the color cognac. And there's a backstory to this one. I used to have the MCM Liz that I purchased from Nordstrom Rack. We just gonna say four or five years ago. And I had that one. It was mainly the color cognac. And this trim right here was like in a, it wasn't golden mango, but it was like in a yellow shade. Well, this is the one that's just all, um, what do you say? All cognac. So after a while, I wasn't reaching for it anymore. And in the back of my mind, it was like, I guess I still wanted the cognac one, the all cognac, the classic cognac, straight cognac bag. <laughs> So I end up getting this one and it's definitely broken in. It's well loved like all my other ones. And this one replaced that one. And then the black MCM Liz that I shared on my channel and I kept complaining, it just felt thinner than all my other ones. And it something about it just wasn't right. So I sold that one at a local consignment shop here and then end up getting a replacement for that one as well which ironically was the black one with the red trim from Nordstrom Rack. I end up catching it off of the real real. So I basically sold and repurchased the ones that were better suited for me that worked out better <laughs> but that black one y'all it was something about it it was like paper thin and I said well I, it just wasn't right it didn't feel like MCM that I know. So got rid of that one and the other one and then this one here cognac is like a staple for mcm so if you are debating on the color and you want something that just goes with everything i would say cognac if you don't like black or like red cognac is always a win-win so this one is the medium size and this is an overview of what's in her and I truly have her packed with pouches. <laughs> it is just an open tote. You can't go wrong with these bags. As you can see how slouchy it gets over time, it just works. So this one, I'm just gonna grab out no particular order. This is my guest pouch and this is my candy pouch. This is part of that set that I purchased from Ross, I believe. It was this one in like a toiletry style pouch. So this one, it was the perfect size to house just my candy and um, gum and stuff. So I just keep refilling it with trick-or-treat candy that was left over because I have a plethora. Then here is the pouch that comes with the bag. If you know MCM, the pouch is typically everyone's favorite as well. It's like a two-for-one. So you get this size pouch with the medium one. With the small tote, the pouch is slightly smaller. I don't have the small, so I can't do a comparison with the pouch size, but this one I use all the time as a grab and go. And it truly, it's a great piece. Like even if I didn't have a bag, I would keep this. So I absolutely love it. My black one, when I was selling it, at first I was like, well, let me just keep the pouch. But I said, no, let me sell the whole thing as a set. And then luckily when I got the black and red one, the pouch was with it. So I sold a set and got a set. So everything balanced out. And this pouch, um, the pouch that was with the other one that I had, the trim on this was also that yellow color as well. So this here, you can detach the strap on this side for whatever reason, if you choose to. I typically do not because I keep it in my bag as a grab and go. You have the MCM you know, on the hardware there. And it's it's a great grab and go piece. So this is what I use essentially as my catch all. And I'm just gonna dump everything out so that you can see <laughs> truly what was all in here. So I'm just gonna hold it upside down. Everything was in here. That's my tag from the real real feminine product, wet ones, gum, lip gloss, aquaphor night balm deodorant gum uh flosser band-aids nyx gloss the toiletry spray um 
flossers, soap sheets, inhaler. <laughs> this is some lip gloss from, I think I got this in TJ Maxx in the peach. The inhaler, a charging cord, and the Dior lip, um, lip balm. So all that was in this pouch. So that's why I say it's like a grab and go. So if I needed a bathroom pouch, I could use it for that. Sometimes I use this and put my wallet in it. And that way, if I'm running out for lunch or running an errand on the weekend, this and my wallet fits fine in my phone and keys. So I love these pouches. They're super functional. They, it's like having a whole separate, like a bag. And you could totally add a chain on here and make it crossbody if need be. And have the crossbody pouch out of this, but I love it. Then I keep a puzzle book somewhere on deck. So this one I had purchased from the Dollar Tree, I believe. And it's just a regular large print um, crossword puzzle. I have some pages. Like I just do them when I have some time, whether I'm sitting at home or lunch sitting in the car or sitting at work or practice you know anything <laughs> i keep a word search with me uh here is the double zip wallet from coach of course in the color black and same old usual i use mine for a wallet cards on this side receipts and my checkbook is normally on the back side and then here is some cash this is the LV pocket agenda it fits just fine in here size comparison it's not hard to get in and out so that way I keep my checkbook and my cash cards and receipts all in one and this is the older style from coach they don't make them this way anymore the newer ones the front pocket is shorter than the back part but this is the old one and this is the double zip wallet and it is in that pebble leather. You can see the texture. Then I have the famous Coach Nolita 15. This, of course, is my medicine pouch. I use them for a lot that way. Um, same Mickey Mini pouch that you saw in the month of October. Benadryl, Tylenol, Zyrtec in there. There's that. Y'all see this bag puddling? That's what I'm saying. I broke this baby in real quick. <laughs> There's a work badge down in there. Um, fingernail file, extra spoon I keep. This here, um, I think I had this in another bag. This is I just use as my pen pouch. And this is one of those Ipsy pouches. And I just put my pens down in there. And then I keep my bath and body. This is the champagne toast. Um, perfume spray so I just keep it in here in case it leaks or anything and that way it's in here because this of course is wipeable and then here's my 2025 um, little pocket planner for now that I got from Burlington that was on clearance 149 and let's see that work badge out of there I have my sanitizer spray a piece of chocolate some loose pins that I got of course my shea butter is always in here and my light my night lip balm is in there here's a pencil here's a silica packet candy wrapper uh, signed in to my son's school and then another candy wrapper so here is the interior we have another candy wrapper <laughs> here is the interior the MCM um, well let me if I can get it to show The MCM is in there on that side. There's no interior pockets. Of course, you can reverse this bag, but I do not reverse mine whatsoever. Uh, I'm trying to think of other features. You get the feet on the bottom. 
So this is everything that was in the bag. It's essentially cognac and black type setup. And of course the bag is not going to sit up because it's so soft and puddly now. <laughs> but essentially we had black and cognac going on. So this was my switch out for you for you all. And let's see. So there we go. But see how it's just puddled in now. So we have the cognac medium MCM Liz. And that's the pouch. My Coach Double Zip Wallet, the Guest Candy Pouch, the Ipsy Pouch for my pens, and the Coach No Leader 15 for my medicine. So if you use the pouch method, this bag totally works. I have not carried this bag without using the pouch method, so I don't know how it would be just throwing everything in the bag. But this bag is one of those that anything you want to carry, this bag will hold, and it's a comfortable carry. Straps are fine. You can cinch it in on the sides. I have not cinched the medium size in. I love it. Easy reach in and reach out. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.